Hi there, we are here in Bikepark Leogang, Austria. In this video I show you how the GoPro Hero 5 Black performs when riding through the wood with bright sunlight and shadow. Danke. The camera is set to 2.7K Super View with activated video stabilization. This is my first voiceover video. I don't know if you like it or not, but I think it's easier to follow. And don't worry, most of the videos here will be pure and raw trail riding videos. Good. This day we pretty much had the worst conditions I can remember of. A very low sun, wet spots on the trails and an open wood with a lot of variation of light and shadow. Even on this easy trail I had troubles riding it because I did not see anything before some of the corners and obstacles. Here we ride from the dark into bright sunlight. The trail becomes completely white, but the Hero 5 recovers pretty quickly. If you can, avoid such lighting situations. If you want to capture a ride in the open wood, choose a cloudy day. Even if the raw footage of the GoPro is viewable, YouTube has to compress the video data. It seems that footage with a lot of light and shadow is harder to compress. On YouTube such videos often become very blurry. I wonder if YouTube's 1440p copes better with this in comparison to 1080p. I played around with color correction to get more details out of light and dark areas. I'm no video editor. I just watched or read some tutorials about Premiere Pro. In this clip I could not do that much. If an area is pure white, no color correction can get more details out of it. Usually you can get more out of dark areas. But in this clip there are not so many very dark areas. And if you brighten the video too much it looks washed out. Here a comparison. So with some color correction I was able to get more details in the dark areas. But the image looks a bit more washed out. The exact result also depends on your monitor or display. In this clip in the bright sunlight the shadows are very dark. And when I come into the dark shadows the bright areas become too bright. Here I stopped the video a couple of times and switched between the Pure Hero 5 footage and some color correction.
So, what's the conclusion? If you have the choice, avoid such lighting conditions if you are riding in the wood. The Hero 5 Black adapts to new lighting situations quite quickly. The footage from the camera is quite good. On YouTube it's often another story. You can do some minor optimizations with color correction. If you want to have more options during post-production, you have to use GoPro Protune mode. Actually, almost all videos I made last year with my old Hero 3 Black were shot with Protune. In Protune mode, the camera applies less processing to the raw image data it gets from the sensor. So you have more options to adjust these raw-like videos to your needs. Last weekend I filmed at similar lighting conditions with Protune mode. You'll see the result in one of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, till next time, bye!